Hi, my name is Pranav Kokonla, and I'll be reading The Crow and the Pitcher by Vishushan. The reason to why I chose this book is because it shows a lot about creativity and why you should never give up. The Crow and the Pitcher There once lived a crow upon a tree. On a very hot day, he cawed, sitting on a bridge. Oh, this summer is unbearable, and there's no rain at all. I shall die of thirst. The sun was shining bright, and there was no respite from heat. The crow tried hard, but couldn't have a glimpse of even a pond or stream. All the lakes and rivers have gone dry. Where to quench my thirst from? And thinking this, the thirsty crow flew towards the village in search of water. He saw a well and landed in it. But to his disappointment, the well was dry. The thirsty crow perched upon a roof of a house. Just as he glanced around, he spotted a pitcher kept in the backyard. That's my last hope, he thought as he came closer to the pitcher. And luckily, it had some water. Aha, at last, chirped the crow in merriment. Flapping his wings, he sat on the mouth of the pitcher. But when he dipped his beak inside the pitcher, he could not even touch the water. It was too little. Oh no, the water lies only at the bottom of the pitcher. How do I reach it? The crow became sad. By any means, I have to drink this water. I can't survive any more, he murmured. Suddenly, his eyes twinkled. He had seen something. Hmm? Pebbles! His face became bright. I think these pebbles will surely be of help, he said to himself and he picked up a pebble in his beak. Then the crow flew back to the pitcher and dropped the pebble in it. Again, he picked up a pebble in his beak and dropped it in the pitcher. Then three, then four, then five, he kept on dropping the pebbles into the pitcher. Yes, the water level is rising, the crow felt delighted. I shall drop some more pebbles. The crow flew here and there, collecting stones and pebbles, dropping them in the pitcher. And the water in the pitcher kept rising, until at last it came near the mouth of the pitcher. He gently dipped his beak in the water. Hmm, now the water is up enough. I can drink from the pitcher. The crow heaved a sigh of relief. His intelligence and presence of mind had worked. Aha, water at last. He was thrilled. Then the thirsty crow drank and drank to his contentment. He was no more thirsty now. Thus quenching his thirst, the crow happily flew back to his tree. The end. Here are two questions about the crow in the picture. First, why did the crow go to the village in the first place? Second, how did the crow get the water level to rise? 